Hey friends, it's time for chapter 18 in the miraculous journey of Edward Tulane. Um, yesterday we had left Jangles or Edward in the arms of Sarah Ruth. Um, she, uh, Bryce had given Sarah the, um, the, the China rabbit as a little gift for her. And we know that Sarah Ruth was very, very sick and she had a really bad cough. So that's where we left him yesterday. So let's see where chapter 18 takes us. Now at the beginning of this chapter, you're going to see, um, it looks almost like a little tiny box and there's a bunch of buttons. I hope you guys can see that. Looks like a bunch of buttons. So I'm thinking or inferring that that's going to be something that's important in this chapter or else why would the author and illustrator have put um, that picture there? So let's go ahead into chapter 18. Bryce and Sarah Ruth had a father. Early the next morning, when the light was gray and uncertain, Sarah Ruth was sitting up in bed, coughing, and the father came home. He picked Edward up by one of his ears and said, I ain't never. It's a baby doll, said Bryce. Don't look like no baby doll to me. Edward, hanging by one ear, was frightened. This, he was certain, was the man who had crushed the heads of China dolls. Jangles, said Sarah Ruth between coughs. She held out her arms. He's hers, said Bryce. He belongs to her. The father dropped Edward on the bed, and Bryce picked up the rabbit and handed him to Sarah Ruth. It don't matter anyway, said the father. It don't make no difference. None of it. It does so matter, said Bryce. Don't you sass me, said the father. He raised his hand and slapped Bryce across his mouth. And then he turned and left the house. You ain't got to worry about him, said Bryce to Edward. He ain't nothing but a bully. And besides, he don't hardly ever come home. Fortunately, the father did not come back that day. Bryce went out to work, and Sarah Ruth spent the day in bed, holding Edward in her lap and playing with a box filled with buttons. Pretty, she said to Edward as she lined up the buttons on the bed and arranged them into different patterns. Sometimes, when a coughing fit was particularly bad, she squeezed Edward so tight that he was afraid he would crack in two. Also, in between coughing fits, she took to sucking on one or the other of Edward's ears. Normally, Edward would have found intrusive, clingy behavior of this sort very annoying. But there was something about Sarah Ruth. He wanted to take care of her. He wanted to protect her. He wanted to do more for her. At the end of the day, Bryce returned with a biscuit for Sarah Ruth and a ball of twine for Edward. Sarah Ruth held the biscuit in both hands and took small, tentative bites. You eat all that up, honey. Let me hold Jangles, said Bryce. Him and me got a surprise for you. Bryce took Edward off in a corner of the room, and with his pocket knife, he cut off lengths of twine and tied them to Edward's arms and feet, and then tied the twine to sticks of wood. See? All day I've been thinking about it, Bryce said. What we're going to do is make you dance. Sarah Ruth loves dancing. Mama used to hold on to her and dance her around the room. You eating that biscuit? Bryce called out to Sarah Ruth. Uh-huh, said Sarah Ruth. You hold on, honey. We got a surprise for you. Bryce stood up. Close your eyes, he told her. He took Edward over to the bed and said, Okay, you can open them now. Sarah Ruth opened her eyes. Dance, Jangles, said Bryce. And then, moving the strings with the sticks with, with his one hand, Bryce made Edward dance and drop and sway. And the whole while, at the same time with his other hand, he held onto the harmonica and played a bright and lively tune. Sarah Ruth laughed. She laughed until she started to cough. And then Bryce laid Edward down and took Sarah Ruth in his lap and rocked her and rubbed her back. 
You want some fresh air? He asked her. Let's get you out of this nasty old air, huh? Bryce carried his sister outside. He left Edward lying on the bed and the rabbit staring up at the smoke-stained ceiling, thought again about having wings. If he had them, he thought, he would fly high above the world to where the air was clear and sweet, and he would take Sarah Ruth with him. He would carry her in his arms, surely so high above the world, she would be able to breathe without coughing. After a minute, Bryce came back inside, still carrying Sarah Ruth. She wants you too, he said. Jangles, said Sarah Ruth. She held out her arms. So Bryce held Sarah Ruth, and Sarah Ruth held Edward, at the, and the three of them stood outside. Bryce said, you gotta look for fallen stars. Them are the ones with magic. They were quiet for a long time, all three of them looking up at the sky. Sarah Ruth stopped coughing. Edward thought that maybe she had fallen asleep. There, she said, and she pointed to a star streaking through the night sky. Make a wish, honey, Bryce said, his voice high and tight. That's your star. You make a wish for anything you want. And even though it was Sarah Ruth's star, Edward wished on it too. Um, so I was thinking about a couple things first. At the end, it just said that Edward wished on that star too. What do you think Edward maybe wished for? If you were Edward, what would you be wishing for? I have a feeling that he was maybe wishing that Sarah Ruth would get better and that she wouldn't have that cough anymore. Um, the other thing I noticed about Bryce, because we've kind of seen him in several chapters now, and I feel like we're getting to know his character a little better, he seems like a very, very sweet little boy, and he talks to Sarah Ruth in a very um, comforting, kind way, and he's always calling her honey, and he's rubbing her back, and he's taking care of her, and we don't know what happened to the mom. But I'm wondering if maybe they had a mom who was loving and kind and treated them like that and talked to them that way. And that's how they learned to treat each other with kindness like that. Um, and maybe the mom is no longer there. Um, but Bryce still continues to show that love and kindness to his little sister in the same way that their mom showed that kindness to them. So that's just kind of what I was thinking about. Um, so we're going to leave off there and um, Bryce and Sarah Ruth and Edward are standing outside looking up at the stars and Edward was also making a wish on that same star that Sarah Ruth was wishing on. Um, so tomorrow I'll be back and we will um, check out the next chapter. All right. See you soon.